All right, everybody. So a lot of people, I believe, are overthinking the simplex node. Um, you know, it's very easy to get a hold of it, you know, and, and use it. It's just a matter of going to our website, gmrs.network, clicking on the Order Now tab, and filling out a few answers here. You need your email address, name, and GMRS call sign. Please don't give me your amateur call sign. This is not an amateur network. Upload a picture ID or an FCC official copy. I prefer the ID because, well, I mean, it'll prove that who you are. Uh, your phone number, mailing address to where I could send this node. Click on ordering the plug and play for $155 with tax and shipping. So that's $155 including tax and shipping. I will take up to three Wi Fi passwords. Um, for this, it says it right up here. It works with 2.4 and 5G. We'll take up to three Wi Fi passwords. Um, info. So when you type it in, I want you to type it in just like so. One, your username. One, your password. Two, username. Two, password. Three, username. Three, password just like that so then when I get it all I got to do is look at it and input it over if you want to send a copy of this to yourself you could mark that and then hit submit it could take up to three weeks I will receive an email and I will get back to you as soon as I can uh, letting you know how to pay um, I do accept PayPal's or um, Zillow, not Zello, Zillow, for those of you that didn't hear me right, but uh, you will need to program your radio to a list of frequencies and PL tones or privacy tones that uh, I will give you a list of. This is actually the exact list, so if you can make it out, great, otherwise I will send you a list once you order. So you can then turn around, program your radios. It doesn't even have to be one this fancy. All I ask is please don't make it a Midland. I was just looking at this radio here. This this looks like it could be a pretty good radio. It has the 121 privacy tone, so chances are it's going to have a privacy tone. It doesn't need to have a repeater offset. Because if you look at this, where'd it go? Right here. If you look at these, 462, 462, 462, 462. If you really get bad interference from the bubble pack Walmart radios and you're actually a radio user, you could switch it over to 467 on the receive, 462 on the transmit. Take a look at that, 467, 462. So if you really get real bad interference, feel free to uh, put it to that. And then you could use a repeater offset pair. But like I say, these would suffice with the plug and play kit. You don't really need a, a real fancy dancy radio. Look up the, the owner's manual to these kind of radios. And this is just right at Walmart. Look up the owner's manual. See what the privacy tone is for uh, 141.3. What the privacy code is. What channel is frequency 462575, which is channel 1 on the radio. Um, you know... Those are all in the owner's manual that comes with these radios. So that's that. And if you're actually doing it through a, a radio, I mean, you could, you know, VFO it or actually program it in. Look, there we go, 575. And then, you know, you got to go down and put your PL tone in. I usually don't worry about the... Uh, the uh, whatchamacallit, the receive PL tone. So 141.3, boom. Alright, so now I got these sitting here, sitting here, three weeks go by. Three weeks go by. Well, uh, all of a sudden I got something mailed with my name on it. Ain't that pretty. 
So, I just stuffed it in a box. This is everything that you would get in that box. This is literally plug and play. Plug and start talking away. That's what it is. So, I probably won't have it all raveled up, but you unravel it. Get it all unraveled here. I got two of them up here. Set it up there. Don't touch the dang thing. You want it to work? Leave it alone. It's not meant to be Googled over. I mean, if you really want to know what's inside, look through the clear cover. The clear cover. You can open up that part, take a peek in there. You know, you could see the radio and stuff inside there, but leave it alone. You start messing with things, then it'll start getting messed up. All right. Power. Plug it in. Wait for it to do its thing. Ooh, pretty lights. Look at here. Ooh. So I got it in. I P address. Mm -hmm. W R D G. This would seven, say your call seven, sign. One one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot one six seven. Wait for it. You gotta wait for it. Node one. Zero one zero zero connected to node one three eight. Look at here. Status page. Not working. Why ain't that peachy? No internet. Okay. Apparently I put my apparently I put my uh, computer in airplane mode. So I gotta turn it off airplane mode. Let it connect back to the internet again. Connecting, connecting, connected. All right. Gotta refresh the page here. Ta-da! Okay. Good evening. Ooh. The time is eight o'clock. This is for somebody in the other time zone, so that's why it's saying that. Come, you know, you could look at the status page here. Let's see. There he is. WRDG seven seven one Mobile, North Carolina, or South Carolina. We used to say North Carolina. Watch this. WQXN966 monitor. Just that easy, folks. You just voice broadcast it in all these different locations as soon as you hit that button. All right. Hey, Mike. Hey, there's Mike. Hey, Mike. Just making a, uh, another video here, an educational video. So thanks for coming back to me. from the great state of New Jersey, northern New Jersey. Roger that. Well, according to the status page, I'm great. I'm broadcasting from South Carolina. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. If you have any questions, let uh, me know. We're supposed to 